everyone welcome back to GK today i am Nidhi Sana and in this video we'll cover the current affairs before we move ahead let me inform you that these questions are part of our daily 20 mcq series 2022 in the gk today's android application so if you are looking for the text version of these questions and their explanations along with the interactive quiz you may consider joining our daily 20 mcq series in the gk today android application in this course in app you get daily 20 mcqs a fortnightly quiz a monthly revision document and also category wise revision ebooks that are optimized for reading on mobile you are also able to access all archives of questions from january 2020 onwards and let me tell you one more thing if you want the hindi version of this session you can refer to our former channel named as gk today the link has been given in the description box from where you can reach to so without taking much of your time let's get started good morning everyone welcome back to gk today and today we'll be discussing most important mcqs for 17th of december 2022 let's start with our session what is the position of india in the 2022 huron global list so india ranks at number 5 and 20 indian companies were featured in the 500 most valuable ones in the world as per the 2022 huron global list and india rose from 9th rank to 5th rank with 20 companies featured in the list and with 202 billion dollars reliance industries is the most valuable company that has been ranked at first position then it is further followed by tata consultancy services and hdfc bank okay and uh, overall reliance industries rank is 34 and tcs was ranked at 65 so these are the only two indian companies to feature in the top 100 list okay and us tops the list with total 260 companies fine so many things can be asked from this question itself first of all what is the position of india in this list so answer would be fifth then which country was at the top so this is the country usa then you can be asked that which company from india was at the top position this is reliance industries you can also be asked that what is the rank of reliance industries overall so this is 34 then reliance industries is further followed with tcs and the rank of tcs is overall 65 okay and uh, one more thing they can ask you is how many companies from india have been featured in the 2022 huron global list so answer would be 20 companies fine next question is prime minister narendra modi inaugurated the all india institute of ayurveda in which particular state so prime minister has virtually inaugurated the goa based all india institute of ayurveda then gaziabad based national institute of unani medicine and delhi based national institute of homeopathy from goa itself okay so he addressed the 9th world ayurveda congress and arogya expo and the chief minister of goa mr pramod savant said that the all india institute of ayurveda at dhargal will have 50% reservation in the seats for goans okay so recently the all india institute of ayurveda has been inaugurated in the state of goa also you can be asked that the national institute of unani medicine has been inaugurated at which place so answer would be gaziabad and the national institute of homeopathy has also been inaugurated in delhi next is which indian cricketer broke chris gail's record for the fastest to 200 in an odi innings so ishan kishan from india recently created many records in the third and the final odi match of the series against the country bangladesh and with this he became the seventh batter in the world to score a double century in the odis and he is fourth from india after sachin tendulkar rohit sharma and virendra sehwag to do so okay and also he scored a double century of just 126 balls and he became the seventh batter in the world 
to achieve this feat and also he broke the chris gales record for the fastest to 200 in an odi innings fine so correct answer would be ishan kishan so you can be asked it from india he is which number of batter to score a double century so answer would be fourth okay and before him which three other sports person have achieved this feat so sachin tendulkar rohit sharma and virendra sehwag and overall he is the seventh batter to do so fine next is which institution released the international debt report 2022 so according to this report which is released by the world bank the debt of low and the middle income countries in the sub saharan africa rose to a record high of 789 billion dollars in 2021 and this is the region's highest debt burden since 2010 and also the region's current debt burden is beyond its repayment capacity fine so here correct answer would be world bank only thing you have to remember is international debt report is released by world bank next is which union ministry set up the zonal cultural centers to conserve art culture and the crafts so ministry of culture has set up seven zonal cultural centers with headquarters at total seven places which are these patiala nagpur udaipur prayagraj kolkata dimapur and thanjavur okay which are these patiala nagpur udaipur prayagraj kolkata dimapur and thanjavur so these centers aim to conserve and develop art culture and the crafts across the country and for this the government provides regular annual grant in aid for conducting various type of activities and programs to these zonal cultural centers fine and they organize a minimum 42 regional festivals for promotion of art and culture every year okay so correct answer would be ministry of culture now finance ministry was also in news why because uh, recently the finance ministry has directed all the ministries and the departments to scrap all 15 year old vehicles that have become totally unserviceable okay and department of expenditure reconsidered the existing provisions of condemnation of the vehicles in consultations with niti ayog and the road transport ministry so as per the order scrapping of such vehicles shall only be at registered vehicle scrapping facilities fine so if you are asked it finance ministry directed all the ministries and the departments to scrap all unserviceable vehicles which are how many years old so you have to remember they should be 15 years old okay next question is manu bhakar who was seen in the news recently is associated with which sport so tokyo olympian manu bhakar recently backed a gold medal in the 10 meters pistol junior women's event at the national shooting championship 2022 that was conducted at bhopal okay and also she had won the gold medals in the senior and the junior women's individual 25 meter pistol events and uh, women's and the junior women's team gold medals in 25 meter pistol fine and uh, also you have to remember that olympic silver medalist vijay kumar from the state of himachal pradesh recently bagged the national title in the men's 25 meter center fire pistol and divya ts who is from karnataka state recently win the senior women's 10 meter pistol gold medal okay so correct answer would be shooting and manu bhakar is from which state so she is from haryana okay next is which state organized the muzuris biennial art event so the chief minister of kerala state mr pinrai vijayan inaugurated the fifth edition of kochi muzuris biennial okay and this will be hosted on the theme of in our views flow ink and fire this was the whole theme 
for this event. So this four month long celebration of art is scheduled to see several discussions, performance and the film screening. And uh, it also showcases more than 200 main artworks of 90 artists from about 40 different countries. Okay. So correct answer would be Kerala state. Next question is which countries announced just transition initiative to tackle the plastic pollution in an inclusive manner. So South Africa and the Kenya have recently announced the just transition initiative to tackle the plastic pollution in an inclusive manner. So this initiative was launched in the aftermath of negotiations on the intergovernmental negotiating committee to phase out the plastic that was held in Uruguay. Okay. And the initiative aims to create the decent work opportunities for the waste pickers and other workers in the plastic value chain. So these countries are South Africa and Kenya. Now next is what is the target of India in reducing the carbon intensity by 2030. So recently Rajya Sabha passed the energy conservation amendment bill to mandate the non fossil sources of energy and establish a domestic carbon market in India. So this will help India to achieve its target of reducing the India's carbon intensity by 45% by the year 2030. And this goal is part of India's updated nationally determined contributions. Fine. So correct answer would be 45%. You can also be asked that the target of India to reduce the carbon intensity by 45% has to be achieved by which year? So answer would be 2030. Next is who has been conferred with the Sri Chandra Shekharendra Saraswati National Eminence Award? So former Vice President Venkaiya Naidu has been conferred with this particular award and awardees in other categories include, for example, the Governor of Kerala, Mr. Arif Mohammed Khan, then Industrialist Ratan Tata, then cardiologist and Padma Vibhushan awardee, Dr. Martan Dvarma Sankaran, scientific advisor to the government of India, Mr. Ajay Sooth, and famous Harikatha artist, Vishakha Hari. Okay, so they have won this award in different different categories, but most important name that can be asked in the exam is Venkaya Naidu, because he is our former vice president and he has been conferred with this particular national eminence award. Okay, next question says, which company is set to acquire the clinker, cement and the power plants from Jay Prakash Group? So Dalmia Cement Bharat Limited, which is the wholly owned subsidiary of Dalmia Bharat Limited, announced an agreement to acquire the clinker, cement and the power plants from Jay Prakash Associate Limited and its associate having the total cement capacity of 9.4 million tons at an enterprise value of 5,666 crore rupees. Okay. So this includes the clinker of 6.7 million ton capacity and thermal power plants of 280 megawatt capacity. Fine. So here correct answer would be Dalmia cement. Next question is which union ministry developed a project monitoring mobile application in association with ISRO. So Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region in collaboration with Northeastern Space Application Center, which works under the Department of Space, has developed this particular project monitoring mobile application. Okay. And out of 588 identified project, 562 project at 1600 64 different locations across northeastern region have been geotagged through satellite images and the mobile application. Okay, so here correct answer would be Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region. Fine. Now, Ministry of Home Affairs is also in use these days. Why? Because recently it formed a special committee to look into the demands of Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, and this committee will be headed by the advisor of the Ministry of Home Affairs and the center's emissary on the Naga Peace Talks, Mr. A.K. Mishra. Okay. 
so the eastern nagaland peoples organization constitutes seven of the major tribes of nagaland and now they are demanding a separate state by the name of frontier naga land okay so that's why it was in news so you can be asked that which union ministry formed a committee to look into the demands of eastern nagaland peoples organization so answer would be ministry of home affairs so these are the most important current affairs and the news for today and now we'll come to our revision section which three categories we are covering today so first of all we'll see important host and the conferences then we will see few important appointments and at last we'll talk about important companies that were in news so let's start with the host and conferences which city is set to host the india international science festival 2022 i think we have covered this question yesterday so answer would be bhopal madhya pradesh which city is the host of the first g20 finance and the central bank deputies meeting so answer would be bangalore city which city hosted the national conclave of universal health coverage this is varanasi city which city is the host of the g20 development working group meeting this is mumbai okay which state or the union territory is the host of the 9th world ayurveda congress and the arogya expo 2022 so the host for this event is goa which state is the host of the fih men's hockey world cup 2023 so this would be played in odisha state which country is the host of the asia and the pacific regional meeting of the international labor organization so this is singapore and the headquarters of ilo lies in geneva switzerland which indian state host the silchar silhet festival answer would be assam state okay now next we'll be talking about the recent appointments CV Ananda Bose has been appointed as the governor of which state so recently CV Ananda Bose has been appointed as the governor of West Bengal who has been appointed as the chairman of the National Pension System Trust this is Suraj Bhan who has been appointed as the chief executive officer of public broadcaster Prasar Bharti so this is Mr Gaurav Divedi Which Indian sports person has been appointed as the friendship ambassador by the Switzerland Tourism? This is very important question, and answer is our favorite Neeraj Chopra, who has been appointed as the chairperson of the Twenty Second Law Commission. This is Justice Rituraj Avasthi, who has been appointed as a secretary of the Department of Financial Services in November twenty twenty two. answer would be mr vivek joshi who has been appointed as the new attorney general for india this is r venkat ramani okay who has been appointed as the director general of indian council of medical research so the new director general of icmr is now mr rajiv behel fine so these are the few important and the recent appointments that we have to remember Now at last we'll talk about the important companies which company won the startup of the year award at economic times startup award this is the company razer pay which technology company is developing a model that can support the 1000 most spoken languages of the world this is google bsnl has received the approval for a deal with which company to launch the 4g services in india so to launch 4g services in india Bsnl has done this deal with TCS means Tata Consultancy Services. Agnilet is the world's first single piece 3D printed rocket engine made by which company? So Agnilet has been created by Agnikul Cosmos. Okay? And why it is important? Because it is the world's first single piece 3D printed rocket engine. Which is the only Indian company in the top 100 rank of Forbes world's best employers ranking 2022? This company is Reliance Industries. Which insurance company has launched the satellite index-based farm yield insurance policy? So answer would be HDFC ERGO. Which is the first life insurance company in India to have a 74% stake held by a foreign partner? This is Ajax Federal. Okay? So Ajax Federal is the first life insurance company in India. to have a 74% stake that is held by a foreign partner fine 
Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the most important current affairs and the news from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zatsana signing off.